Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to wire an outlet. And so here we have a standard outlet. Uh, there are a number of different things that you can do with wiring an outlet, but this video is going to be for how to wire a basic outlet. Now if you have one that's already wired and you're just replacing the receptacle, uh, then you can simply copy uh, what you take off. So just remember uh, what you unscrewed and then screw it back the same way. If you're doing a new outlet, uh, that is what this video is for. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your wires. Now we have the white wire, which is a neutral, the plain wire, which is usually wrapped in some sort of paper. This is the ground and then the black wire, which is the hot wire. Now, uh, a little tip is you could touch a hot wire and not get shocked uh, it, even if it's live but if you're grounded so if you're going to touch both of these then you will be zapped so the best thing to do is just to turn off the power kill the breaker and then you'll know that you don't have any risk of being shocked and so uh, the other thing you can do is get a little tool this is a tick tracer uh, and you can see here we are dead. There are no hot wires here. If it was hot, it would beep a bunch of times and you would know that that is a live wire. So now that we know that we have the power off, what we're going to do is curl these wires so that they can wrap around the screw. So you want the white wire to go to the silver terminals and the black wire to go to the gold terminals. Some new outlets will tell you on the back where the hot wire goes and where the white wire goes. So that's a plus. Uh, then the other thing that is a very important tip is that you see this screw turns backward and then this screw turns forward. So you'll want to make sure you curl the wires appropriately. For example, uh, we go like this. This screw turns backward and so you'll want to make sure to curl the black wire to turn that way. The reason is you want the wire to wrap around in the direction of the screw. Now do you put it on the top or the bottom? That's really all preference. I normally put them on the bottom. If you're just doing one, if you have a series, then the series would go on the top. Uh, also this little tab here, if you're going to wire up a light switch and you want the bottom to be just the socket and the top to be controlled by the light or vice versa, you break that in half, that separates these, then you could wire the light on one and the outlet on the other. Uh, so sometimes the outlet will tell you like where a line and a load could be. So uh, you could follow that, but I generally put it right here on the bottom. And then make sure you have that wrapped around nicely. Tighten that up and then see it's coming off right there. So you just push it on a little bit more. And then what this will do is as you tighten that screw, it will pull the wire around a little bit more. You can see that. You can also use a flat headed screwdriver to turn them as well. So now we want this one to curl the other direction, forward or toward us. So we'll just bend that, hook it around. Now, some of you may be watching and say, why don't you simply put the wire straight into the back of the outlet because there is a spot where you can just stick the wire. It's a quick connect and it will hold and they generally work pretty well. Uh, the reason I don't like that is because I would much rather know that this is solid. This is not coming off. The only way that's coming off is if someone jiggles it and loosens the screw or if that wire breaks. Whereas if you simply stick it in these holes here, they could pull out or another thing is you can't ever reuse that outlet because they're very, very difficult to get out after you've put them in. Uh, so then we have the ground, of course. Now the ground screw turns the same direction as the silver screw on this side. So toward us and we will simply take and curl this wire toward us. 
hook it on the ground and tighten it up. And there we go. That is how to wire a standard outlet receptacle. Uh, so if you have any questions, please comment below. In addition, if you guys want to know how to do any other type of electrical work, feel free to comment below. I will have a lot of videos for electrical, basic home electrical, because this is something that you could do yourself at home without having to pay an electrician, which will save you a lot of money. In addition, if you need any of the supplies, uh, screwdrivers or this tick tracer, anything like that, please visit the links in the description below. That would be awesome. Again, any questions, comment below. I hope that you like and subscribe to this channel and the video, and comment below saying that you liked and subscribed. Thank you.